Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can sync dot loop with Google Drive. So it's gonna take all your transaction documents, your loop details, your loop contacts, put them in Google Drive, nice and organized. It's gonna look like this. You have all your loops, all those details, and it's just gonna pop them boop, right into Google Drive. And you're gonna have a folder for each profile and inside each profile, you're gonna have all the loops associated with that profile and inside the loop, you are gonna have all the documents associated with that loop. Not only will you have the documents in these organized folders, but you're also gonna have spreadsheets full of the data attached to your loop. So here's all the loop data, here's all the participant data. You're also gonna get a contact spreadsheet. So it's an awesome backup, get all your data in a second location. That way it's safe, it's easy to share, it makes compliance way easier, and it's easy to set up. Let me show you how. The first thing you're gonna do is go to apination.com. You're gonna click on Get Syncs. It's gonna ask you to sign into your API Nation account or sign up for an account. You can go ahead and sign up for one. Creating an account on API Nation is totally free. You can take a look around and see exactly what you can automate here. If you already have an account, you can go ahead and click sign in right here and then sign in or sign in with Google. That's what I'm gonna do. Once you're signed into your API Nation account, then you can look at the automations and we are looking specifically today at dot loop. So I'm gonna click on dot loop. It's gonna show me everything I can automate with dot loop, a ton of different ways I can save time. Today, we're talking about Google Drive. So I'm gonna click on that. You're gonna see on this page, a setup wizard to create this backup, this sync. So I'm gonna activate that. And you're gonna see a ton of information about the sync here and FAQ, including what it's gonna cost per month, depending on if you're a team account or if you're syncing an individual dot loop account. When you're ready, you can go ahead and connect your dot loop account. You can hit the connect button. It's gonna have you sign into your dot loop account, approve the connection and that connects dot loop. Similar thing for Google Drive. You're gonna hit connect, choose the Google Drive account you wanna connect and that makes the connection. And be sure to remember which Google Drive account you've selected in case you know a lot of professionals have multiple Google Drive accounts now. And the Google Drive account you select for this, that's where all those documents, all the spreadsheets, all that stuff is going. Finally, we're gonna do the same thing with Google Sheets. All right, just a few more configuration things. If you wanna sync over specific profiles, maybe you only need all the stuff for Eager, you can do that. Most people are gonna choose all profiles. You can also choose a specific date you wanna start syncing from. So maybe you wanna start syncing from yesterday. You could do that, just choose yesterday. Again, most people are gonna go ahead and want to start syncing all the way back, get everything in there, get everything into my Google Drive. Down here, it's telling you where it's going in Google Drive. It's gonna go in a folder called API Nation. And inside that folder, there's gonna be a second folder called dot loop. You could also just go ahead and name it after you or your company. You can say, you know, this is my Main Street office backup dot loop. Something like that, something that's memorable and you're gonna know exactly what it is. Finally, down here under Google Sheets, you can see we're creating four Google Sheets the people, the participants, the loops, and the activity logs. And right below it, you can see the name of that Google Sheet. So it's gonna be called Loop Activity Logs, Loops, Loop Participant, and we're also gonna create one called Address Book. This looks great, I'm gonna hit subscribe. And there we go, we have that active workflow, which is doing everything we talked about, getting the documents, getting the loops, getting the contacts, getting the participants, pushing it into that Google Drive. So that's it, that's how you connect dot loop to Google Drive. It's an easy way to get all your loops, all the details, all the transactions, all the documents, everything into a single organized place in Google so that you can share, collaborate, and just keep track of stuff. If you need any help setting up this sync, give us a phone call, shoot us an email, we're API Nation. We are connecting the world's applications.